Buongiorno. Let's go to the beach and let's go golfing. What? Golfing in Sicily? Yes. Wait till you see this most beautiful golf course and also, I think, one of the most beautiful beaches on the East Coast. But first, it is June and I'm a June baby. Alfred's a June baby. He recently just had a birthday. Happy birthday. Bon compleanno. Auguri. And I just have one question. How old are you, Al? I'm 27,028 days old yesterday, June 26th. That's how old I am. How long did that take you to figure that one out? <laughs> I had to get out the calculator, actually. <laughs> Can you imagine what you have done and experienced in all those days? Anyway, anyway, happy birthday to all the June babies. You know who the president was when I was born? Who? Esther? Harry S. Truman. Kidding That'll me? give you, yeah. The, the, I was born the day after the Korean War started, yeah. 1950. A long All right. time ago. Now, listen, a few weeks ago, we had one of the most beautiful beaches on the West Coast. La San Vito Lo Capo is one of our favorite, but this one over here, San Lorenzo, in the province of Syracuse, has such a different feel for it. Now, this is very Caribbean-like, the sand is beautiful, the water is crystal clear, and as you can see, very, very blue. But we went to a beach club. It costs a little bit of money to go to a beach club down there in San Lorenzo. But this is what you get. You get a bed, an umbrella, a little table to put your stuff on, and there's also a beach club. There's a full restaurant where you can have a sit-down meal and a bar. You know, a bar where you can get coffee, a, a granita, a gelato. It's just a great spot. And the best part of it, too, is that there are showers, outdoor showers. I think that there's a lot of good beaches in that neck of the woods, Esther, besides, what's the name of this beach you went to? San Lorenzo. Okay, isn't there another one close by that's pretty good, too? That whole area is really great. There's the Vindicari Reserve. It's a beautiful reserve just south of there. And that has a lagoon. It has white beaches, a uh, reserve that you can actually walk on. It's very serene. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. There are a lot of uh, other beaches also in Avila that have free access. But again, there's the Lido's where, and beach clubs. So what's the difference, okay? So there's the free access. There's the Lido where you can pay a little bit of money, 10, 15 euros, you get one bed, one umbrella, and free access. Now, not all of them have uh, a cafe or a bar or something like this. For instance, the ones in San Vito Lo Capo, all you get is really a bed, uh, an umbrella, and then you have to sort of go somewhere to get your drinks or ha get a snack, etc. Here is, is a place like a Lido. You can also, they make uh, access when there's rocky beaches. Like here in Achitreza, we have a rocky beach. So they built a Lido, and then you can get an umbrella, and there are stairs to go down. Now, a beach club is even a higher experience. As I mentioned, there's a full restaurant and uh, outdoor showers, etc. Before we, we start this clip, I also want to give justice to the beaches around Noto. Okay, there's a Marina di Noto is a great beach. Marina di Ragusa too. And I was just going to say that Marina di Ragusa is also a great beach. Actually, if you look at a map of from Saracusa south, okay, uh, those are all good. And then if you turn the corner heading west, even Jell is not a bad beach. Here's the big difference. The sand is white, just like you would expect it to see if you go to the Caribbean with palm trees and things like that. Great beaches on the East Coast, Setacusa South, Setacusa North, you've got volcanic, volcanic rocks thanks to Etna. So I think that's a good uh, breaking point. Let's go watch one right now. Let me tell you, this water over here it's invigorating, it's fresh, and it's so clean. We're here in San Lorenzo at the Beach Club. And by the way, make sure you reserve a seat. You can't just walk in here and expect to find seats because believe it or not, it's all packed. And so you have to go online to reserve a seat. But this is the scene in San Lorenzo. So you get a bed, an umbrella, little table and walk straight to the beach. 
there's even a full restaurant here and a full bar. And look at this view. Oh my gosh. There are even showers here so you can rinse off. One of our travelers actually said this was her favorite beach in the world. So there you go. I don't know, San Vito Lo Capo or San Lorenzo. In any case, Paradiso. San Vito Lo Capo, San Lorenzo. Like I said before, I'm very, very torn, but for sure two of the best beaches in Sicily, in my opinion. Now, you also have some other beaches up there. People say Mondello is great. I've never been to Mondello. Uh, but the, in the province of Trapani, going south, there are some beautiful beaches, but they're not as grainy, not as sandy as the ones here, the more pebbly. You may ask where the people from Catania go to. That's a very interesting question because the people from Catania go to an area that is actually does have white sandy beaches with a beautiful backdrop of Mount Etna. There's a series of four or five Lidos there where you pay called La Playa, La Playa. You can uh, look it up. Massimo, my law partner, he goes to the <laughs> one for years, Capa Nina, Capa Nina. And I actually went there with him two or three times, and the... Uh, Isn't the, that the one that a few years ago was burnt, burnt down, down yeah, by the right. wildfire? Right, the wildfire. But wildfires. what's really good is that they have organized activities for teens and you mm -hmm. know, young kids where they dance. They have food there as well, a place to change. So in Catania, uh, there is really a nice place, and the water is always calm, and it's not too deep. I mean, those are the things that... Uh, La Playa office. It's about 15 euro. It, I think Massimo said 15 euro. Uh, or you can get like a season pass. You can get a season pass yeah. if you're here for an area. So there are lots of good beaches south of Setacuza, as I said, but also, you know, if you're in the Catania area, that's a lot better than some of the other beaches, in my view. But let me tell you again about Achitreza and also uh, Achi Castello, because there's some beach clubs on the Lungamare and Achi Castello that also have things for the teenagers. They have <clears throat> exercise things and dance and music and so forth. So even on up here, north of Syracuse in the province of Catania, there are possibilities and, and things for you to do. I got to tell you the funniest thing. I saw uh, a meme on, um, on Facebook about the playa, and there's a picture from the 1960s, and everyone was just walking ar along, talking to each other without phone calls, I mean, without the telephones, without anything. The beach was very, very clean. Sometimes that beach gets to be a little bit dirty because it is free access and, you know, how people can get, they just, you know, and so people leave stuff. So it's not actively always clean. Well, so wait that's, a, yeah, that, that would be, in my view, uh, the Free area, the, the free public area. Act. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I, I would the link. The longer the summer goes, the dirtier it becomes. Yeah. Frankly, you're right. But I wanted, I wanted to say one other thing. You remember the time, Esther? You and I went to the Lido in um, Acha Castello, and it's a, it was memorable. You know why? Because first of all, you don't get. Yeah, you get chairs. I think they had yes, chairs. Yes, of all course. Right. But they had these misters. They were like little palm trees that you sit under, and it gently blows. Like, they have those Lido's yeah, all over. It blows misty water on that you in a hot cool. day. Yeah, it was great. Sick and, by the way, <laughs> along that area, there's also all kinds of canoeing and uh, sailboating and all types of boat activities that you can do. That's for sure. So, Absolutely. summer here is nothing to blink about. If, all right, should all right, we go then, to the golf? All right, so wait a minute. i got to get my golf clubs now and put on my golf <laughs> Can shoes. you believe this? Golfing in Sicily actually has been here for a very long time. There's a bunch of golf courses. Now, the one that we like is out on Mount Etna because imagine you're on Etna, Monk Forest. It's a beautiful uh, area. It's called Picciolo. And it is run by our good friends Francesco and Andrea, who we've done videos, a number of videos. They also own the hotel and a restaurant wow. that we frequent. And these guys are real 
visionaries. You know, they are not only smart, but they also take chances. Taking a chance on golf, you know, you don't really think about coming to Sicily to golf. You may think more about coming to Sicily to swim in these beautiful beaches, but to take a chance on golf was a great thing uh, that these guys did. And now they opened up a putting green and a driving range and the future site of a nine hole golf course. So we got to go to the opening and also meet the president of the Italian Golfing Federation. That was quite a treat. You know, Esther, uh, you talk, getting back to Picciolo that you're talking about, up in uh, Castiglione di Sicilia, is that yeah. where it is? Okay. As a golfer for 30 years, uh, I recently gave it up about maybe 10 years ago because of my cranky needs, but as a <laughs> golfer for 30 years, I could honestly, honestly say that that golf course is the most lush, most beautiful golf course I've ever seen. And I golfed all over New England for many years. Yeah. This one would be at the top of the list. If this thing was in New England, there would be a line 10 miles long. So you give them time with this this new place. It's right now they have the, the putting green and the driving range and also a pizzeria. Don't forget the pizzeria there. With, with the view of with Etna, the view of Etna there. and the sea. You turn one way, there's Etna and the beautiful villages, and yep. you turn the other way, it's the sea. And there's all these little trails that you can walk on. It is truly paradise over there. It'll probably be a year or so, in my view, maybe even longer, maybe two years, by the time they lay out and get that nine-hole uh, I, it has to be a part three, obviously, uh, done. And that'll be a huge attraction for this area. And it's area. three minutes from our house. Yeah. So and I might have to get some golf clubs again. Why not? Part three, I can walk. You know, the uh, mayor of Achicatana was so right when she said, you know, thanks to those guys because they're really investing into the community of Achicatana. You know, when you think about, you know, Catania, you probably may not have heard about Achicatana unless... Alfred and I have been speaking about it because this is where yep. we live. But they're really trying to put Achicatena on the map. It's one of the Archies, right? There are eight of them. <laughs> if you know the eight Archies, uh, let me know and I'll send you a free t-shirt. Uh, and like the, I can tell my joke at the same time. What did the king say uh, after uh, all the Archies were conquered by the Spanish? What did he say? Come on, your line. Oh my God, my Archies have fallen. Let's listen to these guys at the golf course. <laughs> Vittoria Scrofani, Federica Scrofani, Antonio Strano, Ciccio Saraceno e Nicolo Cordio. In questa regione magica, ma io mi sento male, c'è l'Etna lì, c'è il mare lì che mai uno si immaginerebbe, immaginerebbe così breve, breve distanza. Tra tutto questo sorge una realtà come questa. Il golf ha assunto un'importanza straordinaria perché finalmente è entrato nelle case di tutti a cui appartiene lo stesso, voglio dire, tutto quello che ha il calcio perché tra l'altro forse non sappiamo che il calcio ed il golf si dividono il primo posto come tesserati sportivi nel mondo. In Sicilia abbiamo Vettura, Picciolo, Monasteri, monasteri e poi Golf Palermo anche. Golf Palermo. Sì, sta crescendo, noi adesso abbiamo, oggi inauguriamo questo nuovo campo pratica che è vicino alla città e quindi l'intenzione è proprio quella di farlo crescere, la Sicilia ha tutte, tutte le condizioni perché questo sport bellissimo possa crescere legato anche al turismo. Quindi, anche per bimbi? Anche per i bimbi, per i ragazzini, abbiamo una bella Academy, la, la Sicilia Smarra Golf Academy, abbiamo ottenuto dei bellissimi risultati lo scorso anno, investiamo tanto sui giovani, lo sport è, è educativo e quindi crediamo molto in tutte le discipline sportive, ma noi abbiamo investito sul golf. Per americani e stranieri che vengono con noi, e questa è una sorpresa che c'è golf in Sicilia, non è vero! No, in Sicilia c'è il golf, non ce n'è tanto in questo momento ma sta crescendo, tanti imprenditori stiamo investendo in questo senso, ma abbiamo insieme al golf il mare, la montagna, la cultura, è, è il modo nostro di essere accoglienti che viene da tanti anni di, 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 di 
esperienza nell'accogliere popolazioni di tutto il Mediterraneo. Si può anche mangiare tanto bene in Sicilia e tra un po' ci saranno tanti campi da golf che potranno soddisfare tutti i nostri amici americani. È una, la sede naturale del golf, che non sia stata sfruttata è una fortuna per chi la sfrutta oggi. È una grande opportunità. È una grande opportunità. Direttore of the Picciolo and also this putting green and driving range and future nine holes. Yeah. And so tell me what we have here. Okay, we will open today with um, we will have a new driving range finally after a few years. We were talking about to have a new driving range close to Catania and the Citrezza and finally here we are. We have a wonderful place here. We are surrounded by the nature, by the Etna, by the sea. We have a new uh, driving range with more than 40 uh, mats. Putting green, pitching green. We have also a trackman simulator, new gym. There will be a pizzeria restaurant and you can, you can approach the golf also, drink and eating something with us. What is it about golf? What makes golf so special? Golf is the most beautiful thing in my life for the golfers because you play in the nature, you meet people every, every day and people who love to stay calm down here, a lot of cows that you usually found into the, the city. You can come here and relax and you will see the magical of the golf. Grazie mille. Grazie a te. You know, why not? Maybe we'll make the golf course, which by the way is a three minute walk from the hotel that we use here on the East Coast. Maybe we'll do that as an option for people or maybe part of a future tour. We could add and it on. Speaking we could add of on tour, days. we can yeah. add on this. And speaking of tours, we still have spots on our October 2024 tour of the East Coast of Sicily. We'll be staying over here in Achicatena and minutes walk from the golf course and we're going to be you, the rooms are view of the uh, Mount Etna or view of the sea it's a beautiful location of course we're going to do Catania, uh, Tarmina, Etna, Ortigia what else are we going to do? Piazza Marina, the Aci, Zeferana, Della Etna, Zeferana the and the big Fest. October festival the weather is great uh, the food is fall and so very seasonal the wines will be just coming out so that's in october it's probably my favorite tour of the year because the harvest is in and everything is literally zero kilometer you go into any restaurant they're serving stuff vegetables and fruit made out of stuff that was grown a half a mile away honey all the restaurants just do that year round an, all right so we have that one what else do we have going we have the tuscany tour in yep. September. Ah, Still Tuscany. a couple of spots over there. That's uh, Tuscany, but that's the only Tuscany tour that we're doing. And, and where, where can they find this information? www.youmeandsicily.com. And by the way, if you like this merchandise, we have tote bags, we have aprons, we have t shirts, hoodies. I know it's a little bit early for hoodies, but maybe not too early to start thinking about it. Uh, and it's down here on our shop, on our YouTube shop. And you can just click on it and it'll take you to all the mer merchandise. I think the big news is, honestly, within three weeks or so, when, when, as soon as we have a chance, because Esther is busy as heck and I'm busy as heck, but we're going to put up a new tour for next year, for next September, September 2025. We're going to be working out of Giardini Noxus up north to Sheffalo, the whole area up top, and including the islands. Including the, the islands. Island islands, yep. And it's going to We've be. We've already had some requests about that, so I'm going to make sure that I get that We have six reservations already, and we haven't even. We just casually mentioned it to some of our people. I think we're going to take how many? Ten or twelve. That's Not it. Not more. So we're opening it up. When we open it up, there'll only be six, uh, six shots left. Now this is going out to our veteran repeaters. Okay. This is the one that you ought to go to. Okay, if you haven't come for a while, uh, it's something we haven't done let yet. Esther put you on the list and you can consider it, okay? This is going to be a great tour, okay, a great tour. So that's for what sure. I wanted to say about that. So what did you think? Golf in Sicily and the beach. Are you coming to Sicily? Make sure you contact us. We'd love to hear from you. And I don't know. I don't have anything else to say to you. I have one other thing. Of course okay. you do. Uh, I want to do a shout out to my brother, Tommy Zappala. 
because his birthday is two days after mine. And I what? would be re I forgot about that. Right, two days after mine. And I would be remiss because this guy has been my best friend along over 27,000 days, maybe 25,000 <laughs> days, right? He's a great guy. I'm looking forward to going home and seeing him, yeah. although it's my turn to buy him lunch. So that means I'll have a hamburger, he'll have a steak. But anyways, besides that issue, um, Tommy, have a, have a great, great birthday. Wish and I was happy birthday you, to all the June babies. And all the June babies. We love babies. you guys. Okay. Thank you for watching. Sabana Diga, grazie mille per tutti. Ciao, ciao. See you on another video. Ciao.